welcome to Stephanie Uncensored. This one is a twofer because the author gave me two books in one. Yay! So first of all, we have Dangerous Hearts and that is by Maya Caldwell and I gave that 3.5 stars and the reason I give it 3.5 stars is because it had a great, I, I enjoyed the backstory. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me go back to my format. Ah! It's a re, it's, I read it <laughs> on my Kindle. It's a standalone, but both of them ended up being short stories and their romances, interracial, and let me think. There's pregnancy. Yes. In both of them. So, and that's not really a spoiler alert because in the title it, or they're marketed as, um, black women, white men, steamy pregnancy romance novel novella yeah so yeah that's what we have there so we have um the character in dangerous hearts i don't understand the title that's sort of why it got nixed down um to 3.5 stars also it ended up being a short story i'm talking it says on goodreads that it's 180 something pages there's no possible way that this was 180 pages um yeah, 180 pages usually takes me two days to read. And this took me like a day, not even a day, not even a full day. Um, it sat at like 65% on my Kindle when I got to the end of the story. And I was like, what? There's no more? I want more of the story. Can you give me some more, please? Um, I enjoyed it. It was insta-love, but um, the characters... Uh, they, they were sort of naive in their attraction, but that was okay. And um, I didn't understand the title, like I said, and I didn't expect it to be a short story. So that's why I only gave it 3.5 stars. When I pick up a book, um, I expect it to go a full 99% on my Kindle. Unless, especially when it says it's 180 something pages, unless I, unless I specifically see that it says it is only a short story. And by then I probably wouldn't even picked it up in the first place because I try not to read books that are shorter than 100 pages long. But other than that, um, it wasn't overwhelming with details or excuse me. Yeah, details about it being interracial, which was nice. So there weren't any like cliche, oh, her chocolate breast in my mouth. Yeah, I didn't get any of that, which was great. Um, it hinted at, you know, her her nice curves or, you know, her um, or the color of her skin was chocolate or caramel or what have you, which was fine, but it wasn't overwhelming. So that was good. And then the second book, because like I said, it stopped at 68 percent. I got a second story. Bam, bam, bam. Number two, What Happens in Vegas by Maya Caldwell as well. And this was kind of put out there as a short story because I'm pretty sure it said, hey, here's a here's a bonus short story. What happens in Vegas? So I was like, OK, I can do that. 68 percent to 100 percent. That's a short story. I I'm down for that. Um, it was sweet. It was funny. It was quick. Like I said, short story. And the ending. Oh, my God. It definitely had me going. Oh my God, did she really just do that? And I wanted to sort of chuck my, um, my Kindle because the friend in the story does something kind of raunchy and dirty. And it was like, no, she did. Oh, oh, that bitch. Oh, I'm gonna have to figure out how to bleep that. But, um, <laughs> but yeah. I, I, the only thing, I mean, it's a short story, so I kind of felt like it was rushed, but at the same time, short story, I kind of knew what I was getting into. So that one got 3.5 stars it as well. Both of these stories were very good, and I would read something more from Maya Caldwell. So I definitely suggest them if you're looking for quick interracial couple reads. Check them out. Thanks. Bye.